I mentioned the owner of this 1992 purchase Tag Heuer SEL model number S35006 in the Tag 2000 series video. My very good friend Dave, or God as we called him, bought a 1000 series in 1990. We called Dave God mostly to annoy his wife who would say He's not God, no matter what you idiots claim. Of course, these denials amused us idiots, causing us to address him as God whenever in her presence. You lot are pathetic. Despite my eulogising Glasgow to Dave at every opportunity, he's only ventured there once when he became lost and ended up at Ibrox Stadium. The King informs me There are a lot of lost people at Ibrox Stadium. The main stand is a thing of red brick beauty, so getting lost wasn't all bad. If he had visited Glasgow in 1992, wearing his newly purchased SEL though, he would have encountered... In 1992, on the basis that if something's working you should tear it up and start again, obviously, Glasgow dropped its Mr Happy, Glasgow's Miles Better slogan that had been credited with helping turn around the city's image. The problem was Mr Happy had been promoted by a previous regime at the council. The new leader, Pat Lally, known by everyone as Lazarus in recognition of his many comebacks, was behind a new slogan, Glasgow's Alive. Not many months, and a few hundred thousand pounds later, Glasgow's Alive was, well, dead. The city brought back Mr Happy, and since then, it's been laughing all the way. That last bit isn't technically true. The SEL was in the Tag Heuer range from 1987 to 1999. SEL deriving from the term sports elegance. The lines or curves flowed from the pen of Eddie Schofer, who also drew the 2000 series. In 1992, the SEL was TAG's flagship model, borne out by Dave paying £1,160 for his example. To put this in perspective, my 1994 Seamaster retailed for £770. Taking into account chronographs command a higher price than basic three-handers, it illustrates TAG were positioning the SEL range as a premium proposition. This positioning meant you couldn't move for fake SELs during the mid-90s. They were for sale in every market, pub, beach. They even came in cereal boxes, maybe, and all of them were awful. Searching eBay today reveals tat of the highest calibre. The giveaway of a fake is the bracelet, with replicas exhibiting one solid ingot for each link, whereas a genuine link comprises of two parts. Dave told me it was a bracelet which first caught his eye, it possessing a supple sculptural fluidity, almost waterfall-esque, allowing it to mould to the wrist. Examining the inside of the bracelet shows the ingots are only gold plated on the exterior and sides. A pragmatic decision, gold is not a durable material for high contact areas. A sandblasted finish is utilised for the alternating bracelet links and case, resulting in Tag's creamy appearance of the period, the organic shape of the SEL accentuating the creaminess. The moving elements of the case, bezel, pushers and crown are gold plated. Dimensions wise, I measure a diameter of 40.4 millimetres, lug to lug 44 millimetres, lug width, hmm, we'll give that one a miss. Depth 11.6 millimetres, 
and it weighs 122 grams. Dial-wise, the crisp, white, almost snow-like finish maintains its factory condition. Quite a feat, considering Dave wore this watch regularly for the 10 years after its purchase, illustrating his godlike abilities. He's not God! The subdials are slightly recessed, subtly highlighting them. A more pronounced depression hosts the date window. Raised baguettes serve as indices where the subdials allow and loom dots where they don't. The gilt hour and minute hands are loom filled. Subdial hands and second counter black. and the arrow-headed minute timer red. Again, Dave's omnipotence has maintained the hand's pristine state. I won't tell you again, idiot. A white tachymeter completes the dial, and all of this sits under a flat sapphire crystal. Beneath the dial resides an ETA 251.262 movement, which Calibre Corner states was introduced in 1988, but is now discontinued. Does Dave still wear this watch? Yes. Not regularly, but he enjoys wearing it when he does. Have I mentioned he's God? Right, I'm sick of your nonsense. Ouch!